All right, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Project Hospital. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, I hear your shouts, and I hear your good stuff. Um, when it comes to the father of the child, I am not that, so don't put me as that. But we do have a few things here. This is going to be an issue. Having more of these rooms here is probably going to be the right way to go uh, going forward. Yeah, basically. We need more of these rooms, I think. I, I think is what I, you know, it's kind of what I'm putting up and putting down. Now, if I were to move some of these uh, rooms over into this area, this department, that'd be good. I think hold it on the HDUs. You can see HDUs is, you know, it is what it is. There's too many. They're not too many, but there's, there's well enough, I feel like. Now, when it comes to patients coming in, um, I hear the shout, but I hear the shouts, but I, I, it just it's not going to happen. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. Like, finding out patients that are coming in for hidden uh, symptoms and, and things like that, I, I'm, I, you know, and seeing them blinking, I'm not going to go patient to patient to figure out what is going on. Like, this guy, if this something was blinking, I'm, I, I just won't do that. I'm, I want the, 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 the hospital to run automated. Like, we talked about that earlier in the series. So, I'm not going to be micromanaging every patient that comes in for a flashing, blinking thing, my Bob. If they're, if they're going to collapse, they're going to collapse. Uh, that's just something that we need to kind of look forward to and, and adjust in different areas, right? Because I'm not going to have here and sit here and be like, oh, this guy is looking like he's hurt. We should probably send him to X. Like, no, <laughs> maybe that's not, you know, what you meant or anything that you guys meant. But uh, but that's just kind of how I comprehended it a little bit. I don't know. Anyways, welcome, 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 welcome. Now, is this actually corridored off? Let's see here. That is not corridored off. No, no, this is not a corridor right here. Wonderful. What should we make that as? I guess we can make it somewhat micro labbed. Yeah, we'll do micro lab. We'll, we'll put that as micro lab too. So there's a few things I would like to do today. I would like to uh, get the new machines, but really the the little bit of everything is is kind of spiraling out of control slowly but uh, surely but slowly but surely. Actually, actually not that slow. It's actually coming in pretty hot. Yeah. Um. Like right now we have a monitor, we're monitor patient that has collapsed. If we go over to Carol Martinez, here Carol Martinez is in the trauma center. They're figuring her out. They're sending her probably to cardiology, if I would say. Like, hey, send her to cardiology. Eventually that will happen when she's done here. Oh, now she's going to the ICU. Right. Right. Now she's going to ICU. All she needs is nitrates, too. That's the big problem here. Is nitrates. Do we have a lot of people in the ICU? We have one person in the ICU. Just one person. One person in the ICU. Well, now two people in the ICU. Not thinking about it. But yeah. All right. Farewell. Farewell, indeed. Let's go and hit fast forward on our time here and uh, see what we can do. Can we get 90 patients today? We do have 88. Potentially. Right? Potentially. So Lisa Martin just came in. Uh, Lisa Martin, was that the one that just came in? Yeah, that was the one that literally just came in through the uh, ambulance. Which is interesting because if she just came into the ambulance or through the ambulance, we already know she's going to be in a critical state, maybe um depending on how fast the ambulance got here so what like let's see here irregular heartbeat right she needs an ecg a stat right ecg a stat a stat um would that be heart monitoring right or that is already done that is a blinking they are they're going for another because this is blinking right this is high heart failure need a defib right They'll figure it out here. Watch. They'll go in here, figure it out. They'll get her dealt going, get her dealt with. There you go. Bring her back. But she just literally walked through the door. That's all she did. All she did was walk right through the door. And she was already bam, you know? So that's not, this is something that we can't really like control. I don't think, right? I'm pretty sure she was the one that came through the, into the ambulance. Does it say how long she was been here? I don't want to like overstep that because you know it could be somebody else that came in but i have a feeling she was she came straight in maybe not maybe it was this guy that came straight in i'm not really sure i'll keep my eye on it for sure though i just saw them did you see that they just used this they gurneyed through this bathroom <laughs> with this patient i believe or with the last patient where did that patient go uh where did she go oh my god that was hilarious i'll keep my eye out on it though that was hilarious. Look at them. They just fly right through this bathroom. No big deal. Yep, the gurney just went through that bathroom as well. It's working. So this person, Mary Martin, she goes straight into drama. 
because she's here for a fracture. All right, that makes sense. This person comes straight in, has some heart discomfort, right? Heart discomfort. Now, let's see how fast these people treat uh, Patricia here. Patricia. So she comes in. There we go. We treat her up. Okay. Mary Martin. Mary Martin. Where's Mary Martin? Mary Martin was the one that literally just stepped foot into this hospital who is now collapsing. So you can see that these people are, for the most part, they're coming in here immediately from the ambulance. They're coming into the trauma center and then they're just collapsing. Now, is there a way to prevent that from them collapsing as soon as they get here? Is that a nurse shortage? Is that a doctor shortage? Is that even anything like that? Is that something else? Uh, because I kind of find that, you know, I mean, somebody comes in, collapses, and like for her, she has like a, like something's fractured here. Why would she be, I mean, I mean she's in shock because you fractured your femur or your tibula. Uh, I mean, you probably would be, you'd be hurting, you know? So there's, this is, this collapse right here. This is a collapse I feel like is unpreventable. This is like an unpreventable collapse, yeah? Because she came off the ambulance immediately into the trauma center, which is absolutely where she needs to be, right? Absolutely where she needs to be. And then boom, you know, she, she collapses. Everything else is fine. Like she's not in obviously in dire need. Like she's not going to die here or anything, but she's going to need x-rays. You know, she's going to need an x-rays. She's having a blood transfusion for a fractured femur tibia. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting interesting indeed i'll just let that one play out but you can see obviously pharmacy is a shortage still pharmacy too small i like how it says pharmacy too small but it doesn't really show us exactly what's going on here well it does show us a little bit but like this is okay this is fine um i think i'm gonna add a pharmacy upstairs and i talked about that yesterday as well i thought it was a decent idea to have the pharmacy upstairs somewhere at least somewhere upstairs there needs to be a pharmacy you know what? Oh, well, this is kind of off into the distance, yeah? This is way off into the distance. We could, like, plant a pharmacy somewhere up here. Surgery tables. We've talked about surgery tables. Maybe having another surgeon table would be good. But honestly, our surgery... Like, if we click through our, our cardiology here. A pad. A pad needs a surgery, right? So, one surgery there. This person over here needs a... Um, needs like pills that's all that person needs pills surgery pills surgery surgery that's four surgeries so then would we have four surgeries scheduled no because surgery teams right multiple surgery teams we don't even have a surgery scheduled which is ridiculous <laughs> like they, I feel like they're so freaking slow um, to, to, to serving people. Like, why are they so slow? Maybe because they need USGs. Maybe they, they need more uh, technolo technology around before they can go in and do the surgery. That could be a thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to come off over here in this direction. And we're going to talk a little bit with cardiology. And we're going to kind of like build in another. Yeah, another. Well, how do I want to do this? Um, hmm. We have radiology going on over here. I could expand it over here. I could. I definitely could. I kind of want to make a break over here, though. So let's make a break first. Let's make a break. Let's go foundation. Go this way with it. Right? There we go. Okay. Make a break. How big are these wall hallways? Are they one, two, three? Okay, they're four. Okay, they're four. Okay, we'll make a break. And then this is where we will put a spot. We need a spot. It's going to be a diagnostic unit. 4,000. Whoops. Right there. Put a diagnostic unit there. And then we're going to need a sono unit. A sano unit right next door with a cardio with a cardio unit as well next door and then we can put a break here as well so more stations more tests that can be done i feel like it's going to help us overall maybe even adding another operating table another surgery team would, would, would really help too so we'll get that going 
Okay, go wall here. Go all the way out. Come all the way through. Come all the way down. Sit there. Go all the way that way. And then just like bop out that tiny little wall right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. And then just fill out the rest. Fill out the rest. Go all the way up and over. Cool. This is not the same width. I know that. I know that. It's not the same width, but it will do, partner. Go all the way through. There and here. And there. And then what we'll do is we'll do a little bit of whiteness there. And then we'll have the line come all the way through here. That's good for now. All right, so now we have that. Let's go ahead and get more people in here. Cardiography. That's that's kind of where we're at, right? Cardio cardiology. Sorry, did I say cardiography? That that was crazy. Um, twenty-two thousand dollars. Spend twenty-five hundred dollars to find new candidates. Uh, we have a scholar, hard worker, or a scholar. Hard worker or a scholar. Cheaper. Uh, they have one hidden perk on both of them. Unpleasant and a people person. We'll get Sarah. Good thing we checked. All right, great. That's for daytime. Nighttime. We'll have ooh, fast learner, which is cool and all, but you're slow and you're also like depressed, which I hate. You're unpleasant to be around, but you use free time. That's good, but eh. comforting is good. Hard work is good, but depressed. You are fast and you are gamer. I like that. Let's do that. Here, same thing. USG. We have a night owl. Okay, so he'll, he'll be hired for the night owl position. And then the day. We'll have. Ugh, Rachel Scott. Let's see. Rachel Scott. Who is a loyal but an alcoholic or a slow and an alcoholic. It looks like Rachel's the only one. I hate that that they're an alcoholic though. All right, so now we have people rolling here. That's good. Now we have more people on the station. Now we can bring in more people through if they need to. It's a long walk. It's a hell of a walk, dude. It is. It really is a hell of a walk. But look at that. More people coming in here and getting their getting their stuff done. That's good. That's good. Um, so now. Um Pharmacy. I'm thinking pharmacy. I am thinking pharmacy. I will say. Okay, that person is being transported. That's good. Transported back to the room. It's a long walk. It is definitely a long walk, but at least things are getting done. We're getting things done here. Will this prevent me to having to get another uh, surgery team? Maybe. So now we have someone on the on the surgery now that people have been tested out and, and looked uh, out after. There we go. There we go. Units going through. Units are going through. Okay, patient collapsing. Who's that? Who do we have? Excuse me, what? Oh, you in the HD? Or not this is HDO. This is the regular ward. Okay, okay. Uh, you just need nitrates. That's all you need is nitrates. Somebody give him nitrates and regular hospitalization. So this, I feel like, is is almost a something where you like. What are you supposed to 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 prevent here? If the man is getting nitrates or is about to get nitrates, waiting for a doctor, right? Waiting for a doctor. I guess that would tell you that you don't have enough doctors, right? Schedule waiting for a doctor slash technologist for treatment. So he can't get his nitrates until the doctor. So it might be a doctor. You know what? We might have to get a whole nother doc. I mean, to be fair, this cardiology team is, is this department is massive. And just to have, I guess, these doctors, I guess it's 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 more or less the time to, to start thinking about adding more. Doctors, doctor. Which makes sense. So, all right. If we looked in here and we went prefab and we went cardiology office. Well, not the office, but more or less the on-call room, right? All doctors needed. There's an 8x6 and there's a 10x6. How many doctors are in one? So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2. Would that be 6? Six? 6 doctors on call? Kind of interested. Definitely interested. What if we did that? By the gurneys here. There we go. Okay. Right? Sure. Cool. 
And then what we'll do is we'll just add a little bit more, a little bit more of foundation here. Just so they can, you know, obviously get on, on board here. And then we'll go there and we'll pop this out there, there. And then we'll, we'll, we'll expand this out a little bit here for them. There go come through here. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right. Then let's go ahead and hire some doctors, some doctor doctors. Will this force our thumb or our hand or our anything into getting another operating table? It might. Uh, it could. It could. So for this doctor team or cardiology team, we need a very good doctor. So Kate Taylor. Perfect. Um, then we need like a surgical. Sorry, surgical. Jane. We have two day doctors. Let's go two nighttime doctors. Might as well spend a little bit to see where these perks are at too. Okay, here we go. What is this? A practical diagnostic genius or I sorry. Is that a practical diagnostic? 20% bonus experience to diagnose skill after successful diet. Okay, okay. I see. I see. I see. I see. Um, we do need an anesthesiologist on another one on during daytime. So let me go back to daytime here. We'll go back to daytime and we need an anesthesiologist. 39% Jessica Allen. We'll do that. Okay, back to the night crew. Um, this kind of sucks. Spend a little money on this. There we go. There we go. Night crew. Give me another surgeon. Night Owl, that's perfect. Give me another night crew. Anesthesiology night crew. William Hill. That's better. Okay. That puts us somewhere. Right? It puts us somewhere. Definitely for sure. Um, so we have one, two, three. We have three daytime and three nighttime additional doctors. Let's see how that works out for us. They all just went downstairs. <laughs> okay. They all went downstairs. Why did they all go downstairs? Maybe to help out down here? Potentially. You know, can I go to cardiology and uh, do my dress code for cardiology only? Only, I want the doctors to be in red. I want on-call doctors to be red and I want the clinic to they can wear white. On call doctors to wear red for cardiologies, just so I know where they are at at all times here. If I see any red, let's go upstairs. Okay, there's the red. Love the red. I see the red. You know what? They look very, very similar. F. They look very, very similar to um to the janitors. They do. They do. Too similar. What if I were to switch the doctors to a yellow? Yeah, let's make them a yellow. That's a that's bright. That's that's that, yeah. We'll do yellow. That that will help me figure that out. Okay. There we go. Now we can see them as yellow. Okay, a little bit of color coordination there. Very good. Okay, there's a lot of doctors. You can see them on call coming through, coming through. Will this help us all out as we go forward here? Well, we're gonna figure that out together, aren't we? Uh, schedule sur surgeries. All right, so there's no schedules right now. Okay. But are, are people getting their tests done, right? Are people getting their USG done? Hopefully that's the case. Yeah, here it comes. <laughs> Do we have enough nurses now? That's the question. Do we have enough nurses now? Will we be able to get this? Oh, nice. Will we be able to get 90 patients done today? I think we might. I don't know. We're at 81 already. Still got a lot of day left. Just figuring out, right? So far, so good. No, no immediate pop-ups yet. Checking the uh, checking the surgery room, checking the USG rooms, checking the diagnostic rooms. Okay, somebody is on the table. Mary Martin finally on the table, but she's on there for a orthopedic round. Hate that. Hate that indeed. I wish the orthopedic would just stay on their side, but that's all right. Monitor patient collapsing. I feel like orthopedic might have more surgeries than cardiology. I do. I feel that way. I think that's like a real thing in real life, too. 
let's see here. So why are you collapsing? Well, obviously you have heart failure. Duh. Uh, your treatment as of right now is a surgery, which for some reason you have not been able to be treated or scheduled for that quite yet. Which is unfortunate. Um, so I think what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to... And I, and I did hire more doctors. I did hire more doctors. So more doctors are in. It's up to them to, to kind of schedule the, the surgery. And if they don't have a clean table to surgeon on, then they're not going to be able to do their surgery, right? So what I'm thinking about is bringing in an operating room, another one for orthopedics over in this direction. It could be used for orthopedics and it could be used for... Uh, cardiology but i don't think that's gonna fit right there is it so what if i did this and said you know what i, I just want I'm, I'm just wanting to see out of curiosity here if i did a operating room that's not gonna fit there is it oh my god it actually fits there Whew. wow so we can have an additional operating room we can have one facing that way towards cardiology or the other way facing orthopedics like I said, I feel like orthopedics is going to favor um, surgery rooms more than cardiology. So if we give orthopedics a new um, operating room, then, you know, that's good for everybody, right? That's good for everybody. Okay, let's continue. That might level out, you know, our cardiology. Maybe both departments need two operating rooms additionally, right? Maybe. We're at 89 patients. Can we get that 90? Can we get that 90? We need one more. All we need to do is treat one more patient. I mean, we have refused zero patients. That's the key there, right? Zero patients have been refused. I just need one more patient done in less than like two hours. So this again, patient that I think came in through the ambulance, right? Came in through the ambulance is now collapsing due to shock, right? They have shock because of the, the, the trauma that's going on here. But this is again, this is just a um this is just a broken bone, you know? They're not gonna die from a broken bone. They aren't. Depending on how bad it is. Like this is the wrist and arm. You're not dying, Sally, Susan, freaking Williams, over a broken bone. Send it. Hey, there we go. 90 patients. <laughs> there we go. We got our 90 patients done. Okay, well that's good. Treat a hundred patients? Are you kidding me? A hundred thousand dollar government grant? That would be lovely. Um, right. So maybe down here is where we need more doctors. Yeah. They don't seem very interested right here. These don't they don't seem very interested in helping out this person. Oh wait, those are nurses? Are this is the nurse station or the doctor station? They just went through that bathroom, didn't they? They did go through that bathroom again. <laughs> okay, cardiology person right here. Rupture. He needs surgery. Right, where are you exactly, good man? You are upstairs. Okay. Cardiatic uh, tambone. He needs an echo, I guess. Heart failure, defibrillizer, ECG. Um... Again, this is this is more or less just say I need a surgeon, a surgeon, not a sturgeon, but a surgeon coming through, right? So nothing too crazy. Ninety-two patients done. That's really good. Yeah, so he's 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 like on the list. He's he's ready to go. He's top priority. He's he's next up. He's gonna be transported right there right now. As soon as he's ready to go, he's he's gonna be on the freaking table. Don't worry about that. Employee got drunk last night. Okay, daily news. Renovation of nearby clinics cause 20% more patients to come to the emergency. That could be very good. That could be very good. That could help us maybe potentially get to the 100 patient mark. But at the same time, um, it might overrun our, our um, emergency. Again, back to the whole trauma in center and, and patient collapsing. Like, this makes sense. Like, I get it. US, USG, MRI... ECG. I feel like that needs to be over here. I mean, if, I feel like it needs to be somewhere by here. USG by here. A, a, a ECG by here. MRI by here. Because they have to travel a very, very long way. Oh my god. Shut up. ICU. Take them to the ICU now because nobody could get them to the surgeon surgery fast enough. What are you guys doing? You guys are now transferring to another hospital? What are you doing? You're standing there. Help the man. 
and echo echo it out everything else is empty here we have empty rooms you're just standing there all right long wait for a ct uh what are you talking about Okay, okay, for a CT, way over here, right? Long wait for a CT, right? This is the right one, or is it the, the one over here? Is this it right here? Which one is the CT? Um, waiting for transport to examination. Hmm. That would, that would suggest that there's not enough nurses in this area. Patients collapsing, of course. Go figure. All right. Um, hmm. Heart failure, heart failure, heart failure, heart failures. Dude. Surgery. Bright. I mean, go do it. Get it done. I don't know. <laughs> A little demoralizing, don't you say? A little bit. Anyways. Like, again, again, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be sitting here and, and checking out every patient that walks through the door it's, it's not gonna happen i'm not gonna sit here and click on everybody and be like oh yeah you need to go here you need to go there that's where the hospital should be automated that's what we're trying to do is try to make it automated so that we don't need to worry about clicking on patients uh, every every single time they come in through the through the office here this is interesting though um i really don't know which way to go with this i really don't not with 500 dollars, dude not with 500 dollars I'm just going to keep going. Bed required for an examination. ECG occupied for a long time or been a long time waiting. Okay. So let's get more nurses. Let's get more nurses, I guess, in here. Oh, my Lord. Please stop with the, with the pop-ups. Let's get more nurses coming in here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go nurse station, please. Because apparently that is what is happening. And maybe an even on call down here. Yeah, we're going to go into financial ruins here in a sec. This is as much money we can potentially get. This is all that we have. $100,000. That is it. That is absolutely it. There is no turning back anymore. Any freaking more. On-call doctor's room could be the way to go. And another nurse's station, obviously a way to go. $7,000 for that one. $5,000 for that one. And I can't even put it over here, can I? I can barely put it over here. That means our trauma and observation rooms, this is it. This is as done as it gets, right? This is it. Look at that. Look how narrow that would be if I put that there, though. Super narrow. That's not going to work. Um, hmm. I guess I can make my own nurse's station. Yeah, I can make my own nurse's station possibly over here. Let's see here. If can I let's see here. If I bop this out of here, can I do this? Make a okay. Hey, no, 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 no. Well, actually, that's fine. We'll bop one out over here. And then we'll have a doctor as well on call over here. We'll have nurses station and doctors on call. Okay, first thing we need to do is we need to build out a foundation, obviously. Line it up. Then let's go ahead and put the um, boop, walls out. Go. Break them in between. Breaker, breaker. One, nine. Give them a door. There we go. And there we go. And then let's fill it out. So let's see here office desk well is that the cheap one that is the cheap one give me the cheap office desk boom 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 give them a regular chair boom 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 apparently give them a wheelchair too wheelchair a meal tray as well okay stretcher there needs to be a stretcher in this place there's a couple right for transportation needs um wall mounted equipment let me put that over here um and then a pc yeah pc is that the cheapest one it's okay boom 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 and boom and then again we can put we can squeeze in another wheelchair right there so two wheelchairs that's what is that not gonna work right there that works yeah 
Okay, that works. Two stretchers. Two stretchers. Okay, that's fine. That 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 works. It's a practicality thing. That that does work. Okay. Let's go over to the doctors now. How many doctors can you have? Well, we're about to find out. One, two, three. I can't expect them to have too much in here. We're gonna add a couple more, maybe. Uh office chair. There, 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 there. This is gonna be the worst on call doctors, whatever the heck you want to call it of all time. Room on call. Oh god, on call doctors room of all time. Okay. And we'll give them a printer. They only need one printer, technically. So there we go. That, that's a functional room as well. Let's finish it out. Give them some nice flooring. There we go. And then let's make it. Boom. Let's make it. Let's 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 get the people in here, right? Let's get them in here. First things first, let's get the nurses. Nighttime nurses. God, they're terrible. Night owl. Okay. Night owl. We'll do that. Um, they're all just so freaking bad. Um, fast. Yeah, we'll do fast. That's good. That's good to have for transportation. And maybe what I'll do is I'll even, uh, break them down a little bit more too. Another night owl. Okay. We'll do that. And another night owl who apparently is dirty feet. That's fine. As long as you're a night owl. Okay. Now for the daytime. Um, <laughs> Hard worker, I guess. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? Oh, a chart board. All right. Calm down. You don't need to, like, get all crazy on me there, game. That's fine. Good? You good? Great. Um. Margaret? And and I know I used to, like, real. I mean, really, I, I, I could sit here and, like, dissect every single uh, nurse the possibly is but i don't have time for just sitting around and dissecting every nurse at this given moment there we go okay let's move over to the doctors now nighttime doctors probably more nighttime doctors right give them a good general medicine this is looking pretty good barbara thomas there you go maybe not fill out the whole sheet here don't fill out the whole sheet maybe add two additional right just two additional is fine um for night and daytime and that shall hopefully take care of this entire situation going on here in the uh in this like trauma center emergency room dealio we should be able to have faster responses that's the whole point of it okay daytime okay and daytime okay let's see how fast and how efficient these people will be now look at them all just like roll out look how fast that was they freaking screamed out. Flaps patient being transported. To okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're not worried about that right now. We're worried about more people being able to, to be taken care of and transported at a higher rate. That's where we're at. Long wait. You know what? I'm not even worried about that. I'm just waiting for it to kind of like catch up on us here. That's all I'm waiting for. Here we go. <clears throat> We'll see. ICU could also probably need more people, maybe. I don't know. ICU is fine, really. Yeah, they, they seem all right. If anything, ICU would need another uh, another room. All right, Peter Williams, what is your deal? You're here in the trauma center. Um, you might be looking at uh, possible CT. Yeah, all right. So let's, let's go back into radiology real quick. Let's just scroll way over here. Let's talk to radiology for the time meaning. So this workload is actually really high. Right? This is the CT room. And I was talking about having a CT room way off over here somewhere. And maybe the CT room goes upstairs, right? Whoop. Bring us up here. Here we are. CT room. Put it in. Bing, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, bing. Right? I think this is this is all right. So this is... How big does this have to actually be? Five by five? One, two, three. That's not going to work. Okay. Um... How much does a prefab CT go for? Because most of these people that are coming into trauma, they have to be transported way across the hospital just to get a CT done. Right? That's, that's ridiculous. Yeah. It's absolutely ridiculous. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong department here. CT. 
$44,000. I could technically put it up here. Somewhere. I could put it like right here, maybe. That's kind of a straight shot. I kind of like that. Put a CT right there. And then let's go ahead and hire someone to run the CT, obviously. Uh, let's get a Night Owl, as in Sarah Foster. And let's get a Daytime. 32% uh, Rachel Harris. Okay, now, let's watch that in motion. Now, go. People should now come up here. Or CT. Oh, God. Patient died. Thank you, Peter. Appreciate it, Peter. Just disappear. Just disappear, Peter. <laughs> oh, just disappear. All right, there we go. CT is running well. Now, the only thing up here is that we need a little bit of a corridor action. Yeah. Gotta fill that out. Hey, subscriber. Hey. Gerardo. Gerardo. Thank you for the subscription. Appreciate it. There we go. We'll do that. I like that. Oh, God. I did. Oh, no. I did that separate. Oh, no. There we go. Wonderful. Come through over here. Yes, yes, yes. And right there is fine. Okay. All right. Now they have an area right here. And actually, we could technically make a little bit of a more of a waiting room. Look at them use this freaking bathroom like it's amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right. Could use like a little janitor up here eventually, maybe at some point or another. But this is, is, is this is important. So that person was transported and put all the way to orthopedics all on the same level four. All right. I mean, it works. It works over here, at least. More radiology above the above the um, above the emergency trauma center room, I think, is, is a better idea. Right now it's daytime. This is really what's what's going to really hurt here. Um, 8 a.m. We'll see what happens. Long wait for an examination. X-ray. Are you kidding me? Where are you? Or has been busy for a long time. I hate to say that. We, I hate to say it's been busy for a long time because we just hired a ton of nurses. And we have a lot of nurses over here too. And we have additional nurses right here that are literally just sitting here. You can't tell me none of these nurses are going to like transport you. Like, see, this is why I don't believe this is like, it's a nurse thing here. Because look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight idled nurses. And this man can't get an x-ray done. All right. So then we look at the x-ray. Oh, what do you know? The x-ray is completely empty. Okay. Wonderful. Then we go upstairs. The x-ray is occupied. -o. <laughs> the x-ray is occupied -o up there, but down here it's not. But again, like we got to wait for that person to go to the workstation. Maybe pharmacy too small. Thank you for that. I know. Now, can we transport this guy? Can this guy be transported? Thank you. Transport this gentleman. Good Lord. Okay. Pharmacy. We got to bring in a new pharmacy. Look at like squeezing in a pharmacy right into this corner right here. I am. I'm thinking about squeezing a pharmacy over there. God, this is going to get... This is going to get too chaotic quickly. Ah, Patricia. Yeah, Patricia. That's fine, Patricia. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. Yep, 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 yep. Save her life. Save her life and she has heart failure. So let's, you know, let's make sure that we're, we're, we're doing that. Just, yeah, there you go. Hit her with the, hit her with the zap. Hit her with the zap, dude. <laughs> Patient collapsing, Susan. Thank you for coming into this uh, collapse, collapsation. This is where you want to get done. This is absolutely where you want to get done at. Come here to get collapsed. Now, look at this. This is actually kind of interesting. Um, they're waiting. They're waiting quite a bit here. They're waiting absolutely quite a bit. Now, we do have a 20% more in the emergency room, right? 20% overhead on our additional patients here. Emergency is going to get ran out today. It is. It's going to get ran over. There's going to be people patient. There's going to be patients collapsing left and right, left and right, left and right. Now, if I really wanted to like sit here and manage every single patient, like, oh, 
Hmm, what could you be? What could you be possibly having? Or where 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 could you go? Let's see. Interview, interview, interview. It takes a while for these interviews to go through because we just don't have enough doctors. Or we don't what well, I say doc I mean, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have nine doctors here. We have nine doctors in this area. In this area alone, you know what I mean? So that's why this whole wing over here was being created to kind of build out more of a emergency room more doctors more doctor situation so that we can have a giant like almost everybody could be uh, immediately checked on or immediately interviewed so that we can finally get them going where they needed to be going right that was this whole giant west wing over here and we'll continue there's gonna be more collapses but i mean this is it's it's, it's too busy it's very busy I will say it is kind of quiet up in the HDU and the cardiology. Like, I feel like we, we haven't had a lot of people, you know, fuss too much up here. Like, most of these rooms are, like, really kind of just. They're empty, right? They're empty, yeah? Let's see. They're very empty. HDUs here are very empty, at least. Um, right. What about over here? How about the orthopedics? How's the or orthopedic coming through here? Orthopedic? Fairly empty. I mean, it's fine. Fairly empty indeed. Yeah. So. Really what's happening is we're just having trouble down here. This is just, it's just too, too overwhelming for most of these people. We did up our nurses and doctors here in the emergency center where it comes to the trauma or the trauma and the observation. We did add a CT scan right above their heads along with a CAG uh, and a lower or, you know, a, a x-ray machine in the back. There is more radiology that we can definitely get into. There is definitely more. Uh, CAG is not, I mean, CT, we did that. MRI, potentially we can do, but that, that's, a, that's an expensive one. Um, another cardiography unit is something we can definitely do. And a sauna. Let's do that. Let's, let's add a couple more of these bad boys, right? Because we have... Don't we have these over here, right? Red, 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 red wine. Or maybe we don't. Okay, so what we do is we go up here. And we add this bad boy right there. And then we add this bad boy right here. Okay. And then we load it up. Well, first we have to make it accessible, of course. But then we load it up, and hopefully this... The whole point of these x-rays here and the whole point of getting all this together is to hopefully uh, kind of suppress what the hell's going on downstairs. You know what I mean? Uh, trying to bring back. Oh, God. There we go. Bring back the funk <laughs> in a way. We want to get a handle on things down in trauma. And, and I'm trying to get the x-rays through, right? Trying to get the proper technology, the proper equipment to, to available uh, for everybody. But I'm also trying to make sure that we have enough nurses for transportation and all that. This is a night owl, so therefore we are going to do a night owl. Jordan Smith. And then a daytime, um, daytime, daytime Emmy. Uh, hard worker or resistance. 3, 15, we'll go over there. And then over here, any night times? No, all mornings. Okay, early. Early USG, 43%. We will do that. Thank you. And then a nighttime USG. This guy. Okay. Yeah, so that, that that's that's fingers crossed, right? Fingers crossed that this will help us out through the through you know through the nighttime, through every time, um, through the morning time as well too. Uh, all the times that need to be done for as far as like radiology, what needs to be done radiology wise? This, that, that, and this, and this, and that, right? This is the whole point of this. Patient is collapsing. Yeah, all right. And maybe she was waiting for an X-ray, and so that's why we put in new X-rays. Let's see here. What was she actually waiting for? I don't even know if she was waiting for anything at th that time. Okay. All right, so with the additional x-rays, they should be able to come through up here fairly quickly. Yep, there we go. And maybe we have a nurse station stationed up here. Why would we have a nurse station up here? Well, simple. If we have a nurse station, you can kind of treat it as a, uh, like a like a hub, right? A hub for the, for the nurses. And so the nurses can then... Uh, um, kind of hang out up here in radiology and anytime anybody needs to come to radiology or from radiology hopefully they would they would uh go and, and get that person from wherever they they're at right but we're already using this unit which is good employee leveled up very good 
Yeah, we're already using that unit, which is good. I think, honestly, we should just wait for this to kind of blow over a little bit. Patient's collapsing. We just put her in bed. How is she collapsing if we just put her in bed? Is it because things are not being done fast enough? We just literally laid her in the bed. Are they just not doing things fast enough? I don't know, man. Should they just put her down in the bed? Two patients in here collapsing. Okay. Take her off. Yeah, take her off. Take her to trauma center. Yeah, exactly. Karen. Kind of being a Karen. Take her to trauma center too. All these things that are grayed out are things that they did. Yeah, they already did all this. So the next things that they're doing is Ivy. What do you what do you actually have for you? You need these. You need this. But they can't give her that. Why? Because they're waiting for a doctor slash technologist for treatment. Is this a pharmacy issue thing? Because it does say pharmacy is full, pharmacy is full. Is this a whole pharmacy issue thing? If I'm thinking like try to give her the medicines, the meds, it's a pharmacy issue. But wouldn't really make sense if she's in like observation rooms too. Like who's delivering her the pills? I don't know if the doctors are, um, they do well, the doctors would be, but I don't think the doctors are going to the pharmacy to, you know, I don't think that's, I don't think it's the middleman is what I'm trying to say. But let's go upstairs and for here in the administrative department, we will slap down a pharmacy, I think. And this kind of broadens our reach as far as pharmacy goes. Let's see. Let's see. It does broaden our way here. 5,500 or 5,000. We were to slap down a pharmacy at the end of this hallway here. Okay, where's the door? Okay, it's there. If we were to slap a pharmacy down right here at the end of the hallway, where would that put us? I honestly don't think that's a good idea. What if we just put one over here, off in this area? You know, like right here. Is that worth it? Probably not. I don't feel like any of that's worth it. The only time I feel like pharmacy is is, is a thing that, that is worth doing is when they're like, I, I take it as like, oh, pharmacy, you know, pick up your prescription on your way out of the hospital type thing. I don't feel like this is kind of going into, into the other. So I don't think I, I should just step away. Just step away. Step away from the pharmacy and just continue. Continue with these collapsed patients. Let them do their thing. Um, I feel like nurses are doing, I mean, we have a lot of nurses. Patient died. Good God almighty. I feel like we have enough nurses. There's no way we don't have enough nurses. There's no freaking way, dude. We have enough. This is so many running about. Confusion. Okay. Antibiotics. Okay. Surgery. Where are you at? You're up here. So this makes sense. Okay, so if you're collapsing in HDU, that's a little bit easier to, to, to figure out. Um, that just means like, okay, we need to like bump it up a little bit. Maybe have another surgeon team or like more doctors and things like that. Which, by the way, we do. We have more doctors here. We have more nurses here. We have all the above here. The only thing we don't have up here is another operating room. Um, and maybe that's something that's... that's uh, Holding us back a little bit is not having another uh, station to have uh, operations done. Twenty-five thousand dollars. I don't know. It's 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 definitely definitely a risk here, right? If I slap it down, it's definitely a risk. It is a risk, and it's a risk. I think I'm probably willing to take now, at this point in the in the game, right? I I it just we're so f like so all over the place now. I feel like I'm losing control a little bit. I am. I, I will admit. I feel like I am losing slightly control. There we go. Okay. I think looking back at it, I think I would have done things totally different. I absolutely would. I don't know if I would have jumped into the cardiology game that quickly. I will say. It was good when it lasted, but man, now that people are coming in, it's 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 a it's a little bit of a of a of a knee kicker, man. We're we're getting our knees kicked in, but we'll see. We'll see if we'll if adding another surgery room will will start scheduling surgeries more appropriately. 
more quickly, you know, multiple things going on. Because orthopedics, I feel like orthopedics does use a lot of surgeries, and maybe that's what's taken up our cardiology is because orthopedic is using more surgeries more often. And since it's a shared, you know, situation here, who knows, right? So we'll have this additional, right? We'll have this additional uh, surgery here, and that will be that. I'm, I'm like trying to think of like different things in my head about this guy. I am. I am trying to think of different things about this guy. If I could rewind your life, good sir, and figure out where you came from, I would. All right, there we go. So this is like just collapse city, dude. Yeah, man. I don't know. I don't know. I've, I'm feeling it, man. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling defeated, man. I am. $26,000 in debt. Collapsed patient is waiting for a bed. No free bed in ICU. I'm not going to be able to afford an ICU bed. It is what it is. Transported to another hospital. Yeah, look at the fact that these these ambulances are like back to back here. Like this is, well, this is actually a, this is a separate hospital, but still. Long wait for treatment for a bandage? Like, that is ridiculous. Go freaking give her a bandage. Are you kidding me? Waiting for a free treatment. Don't even argue about the orthopedics. Long wait for EMS. All right. I, you know, I don't know. I, I, this might be the end of it all here. This, this is just too much now. I, I, I think there's a lot of mistakes made here. I, I believe there is. $25,000 in the hole stuff not operating as well as it should have in in hindsight of course in hindsight uh placements filters i don't know man i really really do not know yeah i think i think this is i don't know i think this might be the end I feel like everything has gone backwards. Every improvement that we have made has actually made things worse. <laughs> Somebody gets drunk. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know. Negative 32,000 long waits for HDU and the orthopedics. There's no point. I can't afford anything. Loans are completely dried out. Collapse, waiting for bed, no ICU. Yeah, this might be it. This is it. Oh my god. This is it, man. I don't know. I think the game definitely won. GG's, right? Interesting. Interesting. A lot of different ways that you could say, and yes, you could say a hundred thousand things. Um, but yeah, it... It's all right. It's all good. It's all good in the hood, right? We'll let it go. We'll let it play out here. We'll let it play out and see what happens. Maybe we can catch up. Maybe we need to catch up a little bit. There is this operating room being used up here, which is good to see. It is good to see. Uh, the fact that we had a little bit of too much patients coming at once might be the reason why things got a little bit crazy, right? 20% more than usual, you know? So we'll let things play out. If things get progressively better, that's good. Then uh, we will um, we'll continue. But um, I don't know. We're going to have to see really how this all plans out here. Or pans out. Because I'm not feeling confident at all. Nope. Nope. And actually, nope. But we'll see here. We'll see how the night shift goes. See, it seems a little bit better at night. We're a little bit quieter. There's a little bit of things. People seem to be waiting. I don't know, man. I just feel like so many nurses and doctors have already been hired. And it's like, there's still people are waiting, waiting, waiting. I don't feel like we're that big. I feel like we're big, but we're not that big. You know what I mean? To have like spamming of nurses and doctors everywhere, right? Waiting for a regular hospitalization. There's nothing I can do about that, sweetheart. Sorry. Sorry. Let's go downstairs. Hmm. All right, turn us over. Turn us over to daytime. How do, how do we do? Whew. Yeah. 
I think it's gone. I think we are done in the frick. We are dead. $56,000 in the hole. We are out of control. Spiraled completely out of control. I don't see it getting any better. I think layout is a lot of issue. I think pharmacy is obviously a lot of issue. I think the layout's an issue here. Um, I think... I guess nurses and doctors are an issue. I just feel like that's very spammy of the doctors and nurses. I don't feel like there needs to be that many doctors and nurses, at least in certain departments. Maybe here, yeah, in the emergency room, yeah. But, like, over here, like, it's so many. Like, so many stretchers are everywhere, right? I don't know. Patient collapse, yep. Yeah. All right. We'll see here. We, we jumped back up to 17,000. We have jumped back up into the positives. I'm going to see if this is a profitable hospital after all. If it is a profitable hospital, we'll continue. If it's not, then I think it's a close up shop, you know, rob the jewelry store and tell them to make me a grill type thing. Because this is, this is, uh, <laughs> this is getting crazy. <laughs> We're back to 9,000. We can get to the positives. I'll be happy. We we'll get to the positives. I'll be happy. How are we doing money wise? I'm not going to, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do to make anything better at this point. I can't buy anything. I can't do anything. So I have to sit here and let the kind of the hospital take care of itself and see where we stand. There's no more loans I can exhaust, right? We're at our, we're at our max complicated diagnosis. Let's try another doctor, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. There's no more I can do. So anything that requires for me to buy something, um, it's not going to happen. There's nothing I can do. Sorry. 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 We're back to 2,000. Negative 2,000. We went from negative 50,000 to now somewhat even here. Almost even. Is the hospital technically profitable? $347. We're going to pay a lot of wages here in a sec, though. How much have we grown by during the day? I mean, quite a bit. 37,000, 38,000 here. It's working. I mean, if we were to sit here and not do anything, the hospital can run. Right? The hospital can most definitely run. I guess one thing that I'm not taking in consideration here is maybe staff room breaks. Maybe staff needs to go a long ways to take a break and therefore they can't get back to their department fast enough, right? Maybe that's one thing that, that, that could be a thing. You know, people are waiting because staff is across the hospital taking a break or something that also could be an issue which i could put a staff room kind of over here in this corner up here or the emergency department in the trauma center right pop up or in the log the log <laughs> oh my god okay We'll see. Coming up on our day shift transfer turnover, right? We're at $13,000 in, in, in profits. We're in money. We're in, the, we're in the green, at least, a little bit here. But it's going to go down. Was that, 1900 Right, 1900 No, 2000 2000 Yeah, that's when it goes down. 2000 da 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 all right here we go yeah 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 transfer another another hospital get him out of here jesus here we go wow we made money we made money we technically made almost fifteen thousand dollars profit it's a profitable hospital if we weren't to do anything for like the next two three days um yeah we'll see here we'll see what we stand at let's go to the top of the hour first let's go to midnight and see where we're at towards midnight towards midnight not exactly at midnight we'll see where we're at everybody switching out now mm -hmm. i don't know i don't know because even now you still can't buy anything we can't buy anything we're in the negatives it, 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 it's 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 definitely have gone. It has gone better. <laughs> it has gone better for sure. Um, 
I think what happened is we got a huge amount of patience per day, and then we, like, figured out that, um, we kept expanding, and I guess I don't know if we expanded a little less or a little too much. Maybe a little less, really. We expanded way less than what we needed for these big, uh, sudden jumps in patient intakes, I think is what's happening here. But yeah, just before midnight, this is where we stand financial, financially, excuse me, $15,000. I don't know. Anyways, is this the end of this? Maybe. This might be the last episode of this because I don't know. I really don't know. This hospital, I think, has now gone to shits. It is officially done. I don't think there's no more save in this hospital. I don't know. Anyways, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Really do appreciate it. We made it to day 50. We made it to day 50. Really good to, good to have. Skip night can only be... Hang on a sec. You can skip until the morning? <gasps> what? You could actually do that? Terrible news about an article. Parents, patients to go to a different hospital. Skip night? Ah, I see. So you can actually... Why would you do that? That, that, that doesn't make much sense. Why, why would I even... I don't even know why that's an option. That's a weird option. Anyways, yeah, like I said, it's a bit of a pleasure. I will see you guys in the next video, wherever that may be. Do as always. Take care.